Welcome back. This is the post game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. Our player of the game is presented by Coca Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Scott Barr is standing by with, I'm sure, a dejected head coach, Fran O'Hanlon. Coach, before the game, you talked about the need for rebounds and for taking care of the basketball. Both things pretty good today for the Leopards. You just ran into a very talented team. Yeah, the, this is a team I thought coming into the league that they're going to be very good in the league, and they were. Uh, they're athletic. They rebound the ball. They have good guards. They got good bigs. Um, we just, uh, I was proud of how we came back. I mean, I, I think you got to give so much credit to the guys came in the last uh, eight, ten minutes and, and worked their tail off. Uh, and starting with Zach Rufer. He just brings so much energy. But, uh, you know, maybe if we had another minute or two, but that's uh, it's only a 40-minute game. Well, certainly a lot to draw from there as you are early in this Patriot League schedule, and you know how the Patriot League goes as well as any. It's going to come right down to the final few games anyway. Yeah, well, you don't want to take care of your home court if you can, and uh, we didn't do that today, and we got to do a better job with that. Um, but as I said, we, we played a, there, there's a lot of good teams in the league. Uh, they happen to be one of them, and we just got to learn from this. And that comeback uh, without the services of Bryce Scott, who was on the bench with the injury, uh, the team coming back without one of their senior leaders has to be a good sign as well. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we can get Bryce back. He's a big uh, part of our team, and, uh, you know, for us, we need him out there. And uh, But, uh, you know, injuries happen, and you, the next guy up, he's just got to step up and be ready to help. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you. Player of the game, Matt Klinuski. Matt, uh, right at your season average in, in points and rebounds today. Uh, talk about the physical nature of today's game. A lot of bodies flying around. Uh, yeah, they were big. I mean, we just pounded inside, and we knew it was going to be a physical game. They're very athletic in 6'10", 6'8", so I knew it was going to be a physical game. So we had to bring it down 12 with about six minutes to go. Bryce Scott shoulder taped up said this is the point of the season. We're going to remember and it was from there that you guys took off in that great comeback. Talk to me about the mentality of the team as you approach those final six minutes. I mean first off Bryce is a leader on and off the court as you can see he was talking to us the whole time and it speaks miles for what he just did and he led us right there being by talking. I mean and it showed that we had to bring it. We had to bring it and it was tough. So we, we fought it at the end and it was good. It was, it was, it was good for us. You were a young team on the court as it finished facing a team that returned all five starters from a year ago. Are you taking more positives out of this game? Um, yeah, we are one issue is in the beginning of games. I think we got to learn from that last year. We're not last year's team. We got to figure it out and hope we can get better from this game. Appreciate it, Matt. Player of the game, Matt Klinuski, 14.7 rebounds. Back over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Scott Barr. And again, for a job very well done. Let's take you through the highlights with John Leone. I'll finish it up with the numbers. Here's John. Gary, you know, as, as intensely as this game was played defensively, it was a well-played game. And I'll tell you, this young man right here, Jared Jones, did a terrific job all game long. We talked about him at the Open, and uh, he did not disappoint. Andre Walker on the dribble penetration, and Jones with an easy finish. Fran O'Hanlon talked about how athletic, how quick these guys were, and they just did a great job. There is Eric Laster. You know, Eric Laster was probably their, their, their go-to guy last year, but this year with the addition of Jared Jones, as we see Andre Walker knock down a three. I'm, I'm sorry, that was Tyler Hubbard. Here's another Tyler Hubbard three. He had a bunch of them today. He really gave them a boost, but they're so balanced, and they don't have just one player. There's Laster. There's uh, Andre Walker again with a little jab step and a pull-up three. They've got a number of ways to beat you, Gary. They have four guys averaging double figures. They seem to have uh, uh, embraced the system that Gigi Smith has put in, and they showed it today. Monty Boykins for Lafayette gave them a boost, especially in the second half. He really came out firing. Here's another three right there on a great pass from Jalice. And Monty Boykins did all he could to bring some energy. Zach Ruger from the corner knocked one. Lafayette would never go away, Gary. They were down by as many as 14 in the second half, and they just kept coming back. There's Jalice, the freshman, stepping back, hitting another three. Uh, they played great defense at the end. Jalice, again, we talked about his skill set. The big freshman from Lithuania doing a terrific job. Gary, I think when the coaches break down this film, you know, we played an intense 40 minutes. There were 13 total turnovers. This was a well-played game, well-coached at both ends. It's one of those games where it's a shame someone had to lose. Yeah, sometimes you, you blame a team for losing. Sometimes you give credit to the team for winning, and I think that's the case here with Loyola today. As we look at the numbers, their 81 points came on 27 field goals. They were 7 for 15 beyond the arc, 20 for 26 from the free throw line as uh, they got double-figure rebounding out of Rassman with 11. Jarrett Jones with 18, 21 for Andre Walker, 15 by Tyler Hubbard, and 16 for Eric Laster, four guys 
games in double figures as they now go to three and ten they're two and zero oh in the Patriot League for Lafayette their 78 points came on 25 field goals they were 11 for 22 from beyond the arc and 17 for 19 from the free throw line. Palace Gilles had his first double double of his freshman career as he had 10 points and 11 rebounds in the game. Nick Lindner led all scorers with 26. Matt Klinuski with 14 points and seven rebounds and Monty Boykins with 11 points all of them in the second half. Lafayette goes to three and ten. They are now 0 and 2 in the Patriot League and will travel to West Point in their ball game on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Speaking of Wednesday at 7, we'll be here with the women who lost a heartbreaker today by one, 65-64, as they lost to Loyola. They'll try to get their first Patriot League win against a very good Army women's basketball team. That's it for now for Rick Gio, the RCN television team. For John Leone and Scott Barr, we thank you so much for spending a Saturday afternoon with us. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.